Mike, 2012 Freestyle Frisbee World Champion. Today, I'm going to teach you how to use one of the most fun discs there is, a spin disc. There are many different types, all with the same idea, to make it easy for anyone young or old to do tricks like the pros. You can have fun jamming alone or with friends. This disc is a spin jammer. I have used this type of disc to teach freestyle in my frisbee classes and at demos. As you can see, there is a cone on the bottom of the disc. It's made for anyone to balance the spinning disc on their finger. This is called the nail delay. You must bend the tip of your finger so that your fingernail is the only thing touching the center cone. If the pad of your finger touches the disc, it will cause friction and the disc will slow down. Now, I'm going to give you a few examples of how to get the disc spinning or self-start. In the first example, grip the disc like you are going to throw it. Now with the opposite hand, rest the center cone on the nail of your index finger. Rotate the disc away from you with your grip hand and gently pull the rim of the disc back towards you and release the rim. Then allow this balancing disc to spin on your finger. The next example is to grip the outer rim with your fingertips. Gently squeeze, keeping the disc as flat as you can. Rotate your hands, and as you push the disc straight up into the air, rotate your hands back as you release. This will create spin. You want the disc to rise about two feet. This will allow you to see the center of the disc as it floats down onto your finger. It is very important to bring your hand down as you receive the spinning disc. Think of it like catching a egg. If you cushion the catch by gently bringing your hands down in the same direction as the egg is falling, you will have a good chance of keeping it safe. But if you try to catch the egg without cushioning it, well, you get the idea. Another example is to turn your hand palm up and grip the outside of the cone with your fingertips, keeping the disc flat. Rotate the disc with your wrist, then push it straight up in the air and rotate your wrist back as you release. This will create spin. Let the disc float two feet in the air and allow it to land on your finger as the disc is spinning. The last example is more advanced and will take some practice to perfect. Grip the rim of the disc like you are going to throw it. Hold it flat and rotate your wrist towards your body. Now begin to raise your arm straight in the air and rotate your wrist and the disc away from you as you release. This will create spin. And just like the other self starts, you want the disc to rise up approximately two feet then float straight down onto your finger and gently bring your hand down as the discs make contact. With some practice, you're going to be jamming like the pros. That's it for today's lesson. Thanks for watching.